This is a short video to talk about PSC motors. PSC motors, permanent split capacitor motors. We see them in gas furnaces as well as most residential and light commercial equipment having to do on um, blower motors. So the permanent split capacitor motor takes the basis of the split phase motor that we've already talked about and increases the starting torque by inserting a capacitor in series with the start winding. In a PSC motor, this capacitor remains in series while the motor is operating. There's no switch or relay that removes this capacitor from the circuit. So a permanent split capacitor motor looks like just about any other motor, okay? It's how it's wired. Residential condenser fan motors, residential furnace blower motors are the primary use of PSC motors. PSC motors have a moderate starting torque intermediate running efficiency, and these motors are used primarily for small compressors and direct drive blower and fan applications. Okay, a PSC diagram varies slightly from the split phase diagram that we looked at in the split phase video. We have our line voltage that comes in here and connects to the run winding, okay, connects to common and back to neutral or line two, depending on what your voltage readings are. Now the difference is we have a run capacitor that is wired in series. And if you look at this electronically, this is in series with the start winding. There's no switch here. So when this motor's running, that capacitor and that start winding is constantly getting power. This increases efficiency and this increases torque. Most of, the, um, most of the blower motors will have like a 5 microfarad, 10 microfarad, 7.5 microfarad capacitor in here. PSC motors are also used on a lot of compressors, but we'll talk about that in another series of videos and courses. So again, PSC diagram, this is how we want to see it drawn when you're doing schematics. Okay, we want to see our run capacitor, we want to see the windings labeled, and we want everything to be connected properly.